Hi, this is Dr. Arya Dust, and in this video I'm going to discuss how to do an ANCOVA analysis. ANCOVA stands for the analysis of covariance, and it's commonly used in some uh, branches of science, for example, applied linguistics or psychology. Uh, first of all, I would like to review the assumptions of ANCOVA with you first. Uh, there are five assumptions for ANCOVA. One of them is the normality of the dependent variable and covariates. And then uh, the other one is the, the fact that independent variable does not have a significant impact on the covariates. Next is the dependent variable and covariates are linear, linearly related or they have a correlation. Number four is uh, that homogeneity of regression holds which means that the slopes for the dependent variable and covariates are homogeneous. In other words, there is no significant interaction between the dependent variable and, a co and the covariates. And finally, the assumption of homogeneity of variances, which is also important in this analysis. So I'm going to show you how to check each of these assumptions first, and then how to read the output of uh, ANCOVA analysis in SPSS. Uh, the data that I'm looking at is from the core 2016 project of Singapore. Uh, and we're just interested to find out whether gender can have an impact on uh, students' test scores. And in, th in the meantime, we have some sort of strategy which has been measured by giving questionnaires to the test takers. And we want to figure out if uh, strategy uh, also has an impact on the test scores of students. And if we uh, do away with the effect of strategy on test scores, whatever effect it is, do we still see the same relationship between gender and test scores or not? So our covariate is going to be st strategy or test strategy. Our independent variable is gender and our dependent variable is test scores. So let's get started with uh, looking into the assumptions of ANCOVA and testing them one by one. The first assumption is the normality of the dependent variable and covariates, which I have uh, explain in other videos but just for showing you how it's done I quickly do this in this video uh, I go to descriptive statistics descriptives and under this menu I will choose uh, English total scores and strategy and I'm looking uh, I'm interested to find out whether the distribution of these two variables is normal so I choose kurtosis and skewness click OK and OK there you are and if you look at the statistics under skewness and kurtosis you'll see that uh, both of these statistics for both of the variables fall within the range of minus 1 to plus 1 or minus 2 to plus 2 depending on uh, what criterion you you use in any case this provides enough evidence for us that the data is normally distributed so I would I would say that this is uh, met the second one is that the independent variable does not have a significant impact on the covariates, which means that we need to look into the relationship between gender and strategy first. Remember that strategy is a covariate. Since gender has two levels, one and two, you could look into the relationship between these two variables by using a t-test, independent samples t-test, or by using an ANCOVA. Really, either will do. But let's assume that you have an independent variable that has three levels. And therefore, that would be necessary to look into the relationship using an ANOVA first. So I'm going to use the ANOVA menu. But like I said, you could also use the t-test for this uh, scenario. Our dependent variable in this case is strategy. This will become the covariate for the ANCOVA analysis, by the way. and fixed factors is gender and I'm also interested to look at uh, the effect size only you really don't have to go through any of these it's just a quick examination of whether gender has an impact on, on strategy at all or not and if it is how big that uh, influence is click OK and just go quickly to uh, the tests of uh, between subject effects and as you obviously see here gender has no impact on 
uh, our dependent um, our dep dependent variable, which is strategy, right here. And how do we know that? By looking at the sig value, which is the p-value of analysis, and uh, therefore the second assumption is also met. So I'm going to indicate that in this file just to remember that this assumption is also met. The third assumption is that the dependent variable and the covariates are linearly related, which means that there is some sort of correlation between them, a significant correlation. So I go back to the analysis and I want to investigate the relationship between the two through a, let me just reset this, through a correlation analysis. First of all, I choose my dependent variable and the covariates and move it to the right hand side, the right, right box and click OK to get the uh, correlation between them. As you see, the correlation is weak, but there is some correlation, which is statistically significant. So I'm going to assume that the data also meets this assumption simply because of the significance uh, value that I have obtained here, which is smaller than 0 0.01. And therefore, I'm going to indicate this here. The fourth assumption is the homogeneity of regression, which means that there is no significant interaction between the dependent variable and the covariates. How do we investigate this assumption? It's pretty straightforward, actually. You go to Analyze to the same menu where you will do a, uh, an ANCOVA analysis. So you click on univariate on the, the GLM or general linear model. Let me reset this. Okay. So you're going to go through the same process as you would, you would do for um, an ANCOVA analysis, meaning that gender is going to be your fixed factor. Your dependent variable is English test, the test score and your covariate is strategy because you want to control for the effect of strategy on the dependent variable now from here there is a little bit of deviation or departure from the actual ANCOVA and it's done only by clicking on, on model and using built terms and populating the right uh, the box on the right hand side so I'm going to move gender one at a time gender to model and then strategy to model and then I'm gonna uh, uh, press control and uh, highlight both of these uh, variables and move them to the right hand side so I'll get a, an interaction effect what we're gonna look into is the interaction effect be between gender and strategy uh, so uh, in order to, to look into this we'll have to have gender and strategy in this box otherwise SPSS will not generate the results for us in fact, we will not be interested in looking into the effects of these two at all. So, yeah, just let's stick with gender and strategy. And continue. 